the world for people who are running Wall Street firms seems to be pretty good in the sense that Wall Street profits are high, or therefore are expectations so high that things are inevitably going to go down. If you believe that the U.S. economy has turned, which I do, and the Federal Reserve apparently concurs, and um, if you believe that we're destined for economic growth more like 3% than 1.5%, uh, particularly with unemployment where it is, and if you believe that some of the policies the new administration is talking about on the economic front come through uh, with little trade disruption, then it's not a total surprise the markets reflect that. You're the CEO of one of the best-known Wall Street firms uh, in the country, in the world. So uh, why do you think the image of Wall Street firms is not so great in the country? Well, first, I'd just say coming to this room, I got a round of applause, which I appreciate okay. because <clears throat> I would go anywhere for a round of applause uh, these days. Um, you know, it's, it, the, the facts are that um, absent the Great Depression, the Great Recession that we all went through, uh, Wall Street had a large part to do with, if not the major part to do with. Um, and a lot of the synthetic type products that were created uh, that gave rise to putting um, a level of risk into the financial system that turned out to be systemic risk that led to massive phase of institutions, uh, which led to the taxpayers having to bail out the remaining institutions. It's not surprising that the public and the taxpayer would have such a negative reaction to those who caused this to happen. Now it's, you know, seven, eight years later, why is the image not better? It's hard to love money unless you have it. You know, it's kind of right. be, being attracted to Wall Street as a concept um, is, is not something most people would just naturally gravitate to. Folks uh, gravitate to new technologies. They gravitate to consumer services that obviously palpably make their lives better. They gravitate towards entertainment. You gravitate towards the things that you can viscerally feel and touch. The flow of capital is not one of those things. So in, in many folks' mind, it gets back to where has it caused problems. And what we haven't done as good a job of, is, as, as I said, is really articulating why capital is what takes these incredibly innovative little companies that once were, as they once were, like a Facebook, um, like an Apple, like a Google, Google, and creates capital to let them grow and become these incredible success stories.